Have you ever wondered who were the first inhabitants of ancient Egypt, before the rise of the mighty pharaohs and their grand pyramids? Let's turn back the hands of time to the earliest days of this remarkable civilization. Picture the Paleolithic era, the dawn of civilization, when the first hunter-gatherers began to make their homes along the fertile banks of the Nile River. As we transition into the Mesolithic period, imagine the transformation as these nomadic tribes began to settle down, trading their wandering ways for a more rooted way of life. The Nile's bounty provided a stable food source and communities began to flourish. Now, let's journey into the Neolithic period. Here, farming became widespread and these once nomadic tribes laid the very foundations of civilization. They built permanent settlements, developed farming techniques and began to understand the world in new and profound ways. As the Neolithic period drew to a close, the stage was set for the rise of the first complex societies in Egypt. Let's talk about the folks who existed before the grandeur of the pharaohs, the Badarian and Nakada cultures. So who were they exactly? Imagine this, communities situated along the Nile River, leading a simple life, yet revealing signs of sophistication that were ahead of their era. The Badarian culture, one of the earliest, was recognized for its stunning black-topped pottery, a sneak peek into an art form that would later be a standout feature of ancient Egyptian civilization. Following them were the Nakada cultures, who took a step further from the Badarian, pushing the limits of what was deemed possible. Their architecture, for instance, started showing off signs of complexity, suggestive of an emerging social structure. They also introduced fancy burial practices, a testament to their evolving religious beliefs. Both these cultures, in their own unique ways, made significant contributions to the tapestry of ancient Egypt. Their advancements in pottery, architecture and societal norms laid the groundwork for what was about to come. These early cultures, with their cool innovations and advancements, set the stage for the rise of the early kingdom in Egypt. Now, let's step into the era when the early kingdom began to emerge, unifying Egypt and setting the stage for the pharaohs. This was a time of significant transformation. The disparate communities along the Nile gradually merged into two primary kingdoms, Upper and Lower Egypt. Each had its own ruler, customs and patron gods, yet they shared a common language and culture. The turning point came when a visionary leader known as Nama, or Menes, successfully unified these two kingdoms around 5,000 years ago. This marked the inception of the early dynastic period and the rise of the first pharaohs. Under a centralised government, monumental architecture like the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser began to dot the landscape. Hieroglyphic writing, one of the earliest forms of written language also developed, encoding the wisdom and stories of this emerging civilization. As the early kingdom rose to power, the foundations were laid for the grand civilization of ancient Egypt that we are so familiar with today.